to serve Josiahs. Why you are required to become a member of sub Josiahs? This is a new topic that is answering above 240 more questions about geoscience or about geology concept. Okay, the first topic or chapter one is sub fundamental concept. So let us answer a basic. A question answer from question one up to 240 and above more questions. The first question is In the early 19th century, the origin of Ignace Rock was hotly debated between the Plutonists who believed in an Ignace origin and Neptunists who believed that crystalline nature originated as a submarine precipitate. What field and textural criteria can, the, can you imagine that would indicate the former rather than the latter? That means why Plutonist is more uh, trust than uh, Neptunist. What is your reason? The question is easy. Let us answer step by step. Uh, the following field and textural criteria can indicate an, an igneous origin of rock rather than submarine precipitate. The first one is field criteria. Within a field criteria, that is one very important uh, aspect, aspect is geographical association. Rocks of igneous origin are commonly found in volcanic region or nearly intrusive body like granite, whereas rock formed as submarine precipitate would be more likely to be what associated with marine or sedimentary environment. This is the one is what geographical association. The answer is this one. Okay. The other one is geological setting. From what? From field criteria, the other criteria is geological setting. Igneous rocks are often associated with volcanic activity, such as lava flow or volcanic ash deposits. On the other hand, submarine precipitate would be expected in area with deposition and sediments process in an underwater environment. Okay. The other one is from. Uh, Geographical association that is mineral sand rock assemblage. Certain mineral sand rocks are commonly in igneous settings such as basalt, granite, and obsidian. Presence of these rocks are and minerals may indicate an igneous origin rather than submarine precipitate because of what this mineral assemblage that uh, indicate uh, igneous rock origin rather than submarine origin. The second and most important criteria is textural criteria. The first one, geographic criteria. The second one, which we can indicate that is igneous origin, is textural criteria. We have seen why textural criteria is better for igneous origin. That is, the first one is crystal size. Crystal size in igneous rock can show range of crystal size. That is from finer to coarser. That is interesting. Okay, uh, the other textural criteria that is crystal size, igneous rock, show range crystal size with larger crystal forming in slow cooling heating, such as intrusive, where the, when the magma is crystallized in a slow, that is intrusive body, whereas it is uh, called faster, that is called as volcanic rocks. Submarine precipitate may not show such variation. Within igneous rock, there is a crystal variation, crystal size varies that is called fast cooling and slow cooling that calls for crystal size, whereas in submarine precipitate, there is no, no variation, no fine grain or no coarse grain. It is mostly no variation in grain, crystal size and may have more fine grain texture. Overall, okay. Moreover, in ocean submarine, most of the time it becomes at fine grain rather than variation. In this is the basic criteria from uh, 
texture and the other one is vesicular texture within the texture criteria in this rock formed from lava flow or volcanic eruption can sometimes display vesicle okay gas bubble trapped in the rock the marine precipitate would typically lack such vesicles okay uh, and uh, the other one is green orientation rock formed from underwater precipitation may show preferred orientation of green due to sediment sedimentation process while in igneous rock the green orientation will typically depend on the cooling and crystallization process which is sub to science okay let us the second question what distinguish what is the difference between volcanic from plutonic pyroclastic volcanics and magma from lava let us see one by one the first one is that is volcanic rock Volcanic from plutonic. Volcanic rock formed from lava that erupt on the earth's surface, called quickly and solidified. That is volcanic. They have fine green texture since the erupt, erupt, rapid cooling does not allow enough time for large crystal to form. Plutonic, on the other hand, formed deep within the earth's crust from slow, slowly cooling magma. They have a coarse green texture as the as a slow cooling allows for the formation of larger crystal. Okay, the difference for volcanic from plutonic is that volcanic is a faster cooling from lava, whereas plutonic is under the ground cooling from the magma. This is the and the, the differences due to geological and the speed of cooling of lava and uh, this is the, the speed of cooling of the magma or lava this is the difference between volcanic from plutonic okay pyroclastic volcanics what does it mean pyroclastic volcanics pyroclastic volcanics are volcanic rocks that are formed from the explosive eruptions of magma they are composed of fragments of volcanic material yeah such as fragment means such as ash Pumice, volcanic pumice, that are injected into the air during volcanic eruption. This fragment can vary in size from microscopic ash particles to large crystal rock, large, larger, large rocks, that is a volcanic bomb. Okay? This is a very uh, important description of pyroclastic volcanic. The third one from question two is magma from lava. This is a very interesting question, by the way. Magma air refers to molten rock material that is located beneath the earth's surface. Below the earth's surface, it is composed of mixtures of liquid rock, dissolved gas, and solid mineral crystals. Whereas lava, on the other hand, is the term used for magma that has erupted on the earth's surface. So magma is the molten rock underground, while lava is the molten rock that reaches the surface during volcanic eruption. Activity. Yeah, magma and lava both have may have the same composition, but their difference is geological. Magma below the earth's surface, whereas lava is erupted under the earth's surface or on the earth's surface. This is a basic difference. The similarity is both says that what are the four principal compositions of the earth? What are what materials or rock types would be represented? And what is the approximate of it? Okay, what are the four principal composition of com compositional subdivision of the earth? We have seen one by one. The earth is divided into four principal compositional subdivision: the crest, mantle, outer core, and inner core. Okay, here this layer is continental oceanic. This is crest, this is mantle, this is core. We have seen one by one. The first one, crest. Crest composition most of the time lie that is pre predominantly granite for co continental crest and basaltic for oceanic crest as the approximate uh, uh, thickness that is continental crest up to uh, 70 uh, kilometer thickness and oceanic crest 5 up to 10 kilometer thickness. The crest composition is light minerals that is most of the time silicate. Their chemistry is sodium and potassium most of the time. The second compositional subdivision is mantle. The, the mantle's composition is ma most 
actually more than it still get mineral rich in iron and magnesium and this thickness is around from the crest to around 2900 km the surface is the the third uh, subdivisions of the uh, the RZ's outer core. Outer core is consists of liquid iron and nickel composition, and approximate thickness is 5,150 kilometers below the surface. And the the fourth and the fourth subdivision composition of the RZ inner core. Inner core composition similar to the outer core that is uh, iron and nickel, but their difference is solid. Their difference is still the inner core is solid, whereas outer liquid and the approximate thickness for this one is 6375 km to the surface and it may more it is it is a rich and high region okay the four uh, the fourth question is uh, said that an alternative way to consider the makeup of the earth is to categorize it on the basis of mechanical properties we have seen the Question three based on chemical composition, based on compositional subdivision. This one is mechanical uh, subdivision based on the mechanical property. What are the five principal rheological subdivisions of the earth and how do their rheological properties are? Then, earth can be divided based on compositional difference into four and based on their mechanical property divided into five. We have seen one by one. The five principal rheological as are lithosphere, atmosphere, mesosphere, outer core, and inner core. Okay, we have seen this uh, within this image: lithosphere, atmosphere, mesosphere, outer core, and inner core. We have seen one by one they based on their uh, property. The first one is lithosphere. This is a rigid outermost layer of the Earth that is including the crust and a part of the upper mantle, a part of the upper mantle. It shows brittle behavior and is broken in different ways that move and interact with each, uh, the, each other. So, lithosphere means the crest and upper mantle, collectively known as lithosphere. And, the, and it is what? Brittle behavior. It is broken in different ways. It is moving. Okay? So, yeah, we call us lithosphere. The second uh, mechanical. The second subdivision is atmosphere. This layer lies below the lithosphere and is partially molten or in plastic. This is the, this is the criteria partially molten or plastic sphere. It shows some fluid behavior, allows the movement of tectonic plates. It is primarily responsible for plate tectonic and volcanic because for plate tectonic is atmosphere because it is plastic and partially. The third subdivision, also known as lower mantle, this region lies below the atmosphere. It, uh, it shows solid behavior and is characterized by increasing pressure and pressure. Yeah, is the case. The mesosphere plays a significant role in mantle conduction, transferring heat from the core to higher level. Okay? The outer core, the four subdivision. This tire is predominantly in the composition Composed of liquid iron and nickel, yeah, it it show or exhibit fluid behavior due to the high temperature pressures present. The outer core is responsible for generating the earth's mantle tilt through the movement of these contact materials. Okay, uh, the last subdivision, the last uh, subdivisions of. Uh, Subdivisions of the earth based on mechanical property is inner core. This is the inner uh, the inner most subdivisions of the earth and is mostly composed of solid iron and nickel. Although it is under extreme pressure, it is less more rigid due to the inability of atoms to move freely. Yeah, it is rigid because of inability to move uh, atoms freely. The inner core is believed to have a sneak crystal. Structure. Yeah. The, okay. Find you it. Please become a member of my channel. That is subject science. My channel deals tutorials of 
geoscience and news and technology. John Page to become a member of my family. Okay, uh, the last question. That is five, the fifth question. Based on your answer to question three and four, what defines the base of the crust and what defines the base of the sphere? Which one is shallow? What composition has the division? Then make up of the sphere. We have seen one by one. The first one, that is, the base of the crust is defined as the boundary between the crust and the underlying mantle. It is typically marked by the change in raw composition and density. Yeah. The second one is the base of the lithosphere. On the other hand, it, it is defined as the boundary between the lithosphere and the mantle, which is a region of the upper mantle that show plastic like behavior. Which one is shallow? Shallow. The base of the crest is shallow, generally shallow, than the base of the lithosphere. While the thickness of the crest can vary significantly, it is generally around 30 kilometers in the continent and around 5,000 kilometers in the ocean crest. This one is shallow. On the other hand, the lithosphere can range in thickness from this to this kilometer to the end of factors such as tectonic activity and egg. The last one, what composition of subdivisions then make up of the lithosphere plates? This question. The lithosphere plates are composed of several composition within the lithosphere. The subdivision includes the crust, both continental and technique, and the uppermost part of the mantle, known as the upper mantle. The splits are rigid and float on the semi-fluid atmosphere, atmosphere below. The movement and interaction of the split drive vary biological process such as earthquake, volcanic activity, and mountain formation. Thank you more. Please don't let to become a member of subject science. We have proceeded uh, the question from one of five. We have seen 140 and above, above 